Hello everyone, up we're all good. Big shout out to KRCT Couriers and Transport Limited and a big thank you to everyone who likes, shares, comments and subscribes to the All On Rotten Podcast with myself, Billy Moore. Okay, so I'm going to talk about Liverpool's most feared hardman, a guy called Eddie Palmer, a.k.a. the Toxic of Terror. Eddie Palmer was a nuisance to the underground fraternity. He was a dangerous man. He was a doorman. He could fight. He was big. He was solid. He'd knock you clean out. He was known for, you know, a nice left hook. He had a fight with Gary Spires once over an alteration on a dance floor. He's allegedly gone in, asked a girl for a dance. She's refused him. He took a grievance towards it and knocked her out. A little Indian doctor, only five foot, ran over, tried to help the young girl. He's given the doctor a slap across the face, broke his glasses, broke his nose. And that's when Gary Spires intervened. And he said, come on, boss, let's go. But he didn't go easy. You know, it resulted in Gary getting a swift hook to the jaw. That he never saw. He never put him down. Gary Spires talked about the fight in Terry O'Neill's book, Working with Warriors. It's all documented. Well, we went outside with Eddie Palmer, you know, for the straightener, because that's what happened back then. It was straighteners. But Eddie's got a gang with him and a called the Stanleys because, you know, they carry blades, Stanley blades. Cut you up, slash you. That's what they were about. So we had a little bit of, whether you call it fear, maybe being a bit more wary and cautious about really going to town on this Eddie Palmer because he took him to the floor and he beat him. He, he bit Gary's forearm and sunk his teeth to the bone. And he was allegedly choking on the blood while Gary was trying to bury his head into the wall and knock it down. If you could last more than 30 seconds with Gary Spires, you were in with a fighting chance. And I think Eddie Palmer did last, but he got exhausted from what I've read. Because if you're not fit, don't care how hard you are, how hard you can bang, if you're not putting that person out with the first shot and you haven't got a combination to follow through, then you're in for a struggle. That's just how it is. Now, Eddie Palmer was killed by a guy called Joe Keatley. Now, there was a bit of animosity between these two. Now, Eddie's allegedly tried to run him over a few years earlier. And he's been stabbed. Murdered. However, Joe Keatley, nicknamed Beach, he ended up getting a drop from a murder to a manslaughter due to a petition about about uh, Eddie Palmer being like the most feared individual in Liverpool and everyone was frightened of him and saw it as if like Joe Doherty was doing the community a favour so the judge gave him three years and that was the end of that yeah it's, um, it's a doggy dog world but I was just on a podcast with a guy there called Paul Davies he was a great friend of Gary Spires and some of the stories are, are unbelievable you know, Gary was the most brutal martial artist to ever have came to Liverpool. You know, back in the days, those door wars were, were heavy and but It was like everyone had a straightener. No long gone is that straightener. It was just a little bit of content there because it's just been reading about Eddie Palmer and Gary Spires and Terry O'Neill and Mick Bennett and all the fans from back in the day and you know, the old school like warriors that worked on the doors, you know, legends, myths, people who'd stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with you, not like these fucking shitbags today, who'll just land on you with a bally, a blade, a fucking gun, and put you to bed and then just slip off into the night, you know, that have never actually stood in front of another man, or fucking took a dick. 
that's just the way it is these days. Anyway, if anyone knows anything about Eddie Palmer and his history and what he was really like, then feel free to put them in the comments. And once again, thanks for watching.